All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is John, and we are back with part 501. That's a huge number, and just to give you an idea of how many or how long 500 parts is, I completed GTA 5 in 72 parts, and Mass Effect 3 with all three DLCs in 120 parts. And those are long games, so... I'm pretty sure I've I'm I have like I don't know at least 400 hours on this game and that's just on recording just some like off camera stuff and like streaming and just playing with friends so I have a lot of time on this game and thank you guys for being a part of it so you guys are awesome before we do anything just check messages hey I'm a fan of you and I'm starting my Imperial Edmund Hearth Templar that's excellent I chose that too so anyway, good to have more fans sending invites. That's always sweet. Check that. Ooh, a nice... Oh, wait, never mind. thought that was the one to Legendary. <clears throat> and more stuff. I'm a subscriber. Love your videos. You're fantastic. You got me hooked on this game. I'm glad, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. You are awesome. So anyway, um, we're back in green shade now. This is uh, the VR8 zone, and the reason why we're here again is because I'm pretty sure I missed some missions, as you may imagine. <clears throat> I think there's a couple down here. I'm not sure. Like, we already got the achievement for... Well, let me show you. Hold on. Um, what was it? Green Shade. We got, oh, we got 40 out of 40 for the achievement. But there's generally a couple extras, just in case. So I'm pretty sure there's at least like one or two more around here. And obviously there's one here that was crazy difficult. <clears throat> so before we do anything... Dear phrase Bones, am I glad to see another traveler on this road. Personally, I can't wait to get out of here. Something really strange is going on here. You're going to think I'm crazy, but there's a cave not far from here. My apprentice and I camped there to get out of the weather, and when we woke up, a whole village had appeared out of nowhere, full of elves and homes and everything. Do what you want. One of them asked what year it is. I didn't wait to find out if it was a Daedric trick or if I was just crazy. None of them followed me outside, thankfully. You're looking for a high elf woman? Yes, I saw one pass this way, right into that strange cave. The one with the village that just appeared out of nowhere. Of course, and it's not one of the Falunesti sites, so it's not the walking city if that's what you're thinking. Their voices sounded Bosma, but it could be a trick to draw us in. <clears throat> so yeah, I kind of switched up some of my armor. Now, they're looking for a oh, high. Oh, excuse me. Where is it? This button. Now this armor is significantly worse than my heavy armor that I have. But I'm trying to slowly transition into a full medium, full medium set. I still have some pieces of heavy, just so I don't completely get owned. But I have five pieces of medium and two to that, just because I want to try to level this up. And once I get to 38, my damage is going to go up at least a whole six percent, which is good six percent. And I need to get this to 30, which is coming up soon, which will increase my critical chance by 3% per piece. So give me an additional 5% uh, for what I have right now. And so the items are actually terrible. This one is, as you may imagine, these are all VR5 and or 8. So <laughs> they're pretty bad. Like anything could honestly beat it in upgrades. So... Yeah, we're going to explore the Shrouded Hollow. And there were a couple of quests that I wanted to wrap up in this area. I mean, why not, right? Surprised I actually missed it. I think I knew about it before, too. I just never did it for some reason. What did you get? But this is a VR8 zone, so we're VR8. It shouldn't be, like, crazy hard, considering I... Pretty much went through the whole VR9 zone without much trouble. 
And yeah, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. You are all awesome. And congratulations to all the people who are picking up this game again. Apparently my videos helped out. Talk to person. An outsider. Wait. Ah, oh, you're not one of those wood orcs, thank you, Frey. Welcome to our humble home. You met someone outside, did you? Some people get so frightened they won't talk to us. Yes, there is a village in this cavern. If you would like to hear our story, I'd be happy to share it with you. Promise you won't run away. Our village has a pact with the Wilder King himself. The village goes away, then returns every hundred years or so. Most of the time, our arrival causes no problem. This time, however, it's different. Wood Orcs set up camp outside this cave's southern entrance. They've never been here before, and so we've kept quiet, hoping they'd go away. It's been a week, and they are firmly established. My husband, Erinor, isn't as worried as I am, though. Nearly everyone from the village attends the ritual to choose the next caretaker. No one knows who it'll be until the prior caretaker picks a name. It's held at the Fading Tree, through the central hall of this cave. You should see it. It's very exciting. It's a part of the oath. Ask my husband. He knows much more about it than I do. I prefer to scout and hunt, not ten plants. He'll be at the choosing ceremony. If you hurry, you can talk with him before it starts. Wood Orcs set up camp outside this cave's southern entrance. They've never been here before, and so we've kept quiet, hoping they'd go away. It's been a week. My husband, Aeronor, can tell you more. Essentially, we try Nearly everyone from the village attends the... It's a part of the oath. Alright, so we heard all that. I was just kind of looping the dialogue. Um, Alright, so we're going to go talk to this guy. I think it's up this way. For all of you who play it and watch my videos, uh, where do you get your mods from? Is it like Nexus mods, the same place you got stuff from uh, Skyrim? Because um, the only mods I would want is like a mini map instead of having to open my map every time. Other than that, I don't think anything else is really necessary. I don't need a damage counter. Like That doesn't bother me. I've been playing MMOs for so long in my life that... It's the little things. You don't want to cluster your screen. Ah, another visitor. You've arrived at an auspicious time for our village. I am Erinor of Shrouded Hollow. You've met Lan Ariel. She speaks too freely sometimes, but I will tell you what I can. Our village, as you may be aware, is not here normally. A long time ago, our tree thanes and ancestors swore a sacred oath to which we are still bound. It's not my place to reveal the nature of the oath. For that, you must speak to our current caretaker, Henedras. If you wait, you might also speak to the new caretaker, when one is chosen. Indeed, it's an honor to be selected. Once the preparations are complete, the old caretaker passes his duties to the new one. Interesting. Who are you? How do you know about the fading tree? I'm not without sight. I saw you <laughs> talk to him. He's right in front of me. How do you know about us? Well, no point to that now, is there? You've entered our innermost sanctum and without challenge. It's clear to me the Wilder King blesses your presence. That means I am bound by our oath to speak with you, no matter how it galls me. We swore to protect the Fading Tree for the Wilder King and to abide by his rules. In return, he protects our village. Every hundred years or so, the village returns to choose a new caretaker to guard the fading tree on his behalf. Oh yeah, I remember this when we did that mission for our friend that turned into the Wilder Queen. I wonder if this uh, dialogue choice was there if you didn't do that mission. I'm pretty sure you had to. It was like a story mission. But I don't know. But there's a Wilder Queen now. Well, there have been other Wilder Queens in the past as well. Our oath remains unchanged, even if the individual is new to the title. That's the beauty of the arrangement. We protect the tree, and he or she protects us. The first Wilder King created the Fading Tree. 
all of Valenwood, from Bramble Breach to Greenheart, bends to his will. So long as we guard the tree, he remains our patron. Some consider him a god, like one of the divines. The village goes where the Wilder King sends it, and allows it to return when the caretaker needs to be replaced. I'm a very old man now. The village returned as it always does. Ever since the last time the village was here, so a bit over a hundred years. Fading Tree and I care for each other, and the Wilder King provides my sustenance. I don't understand why the Wilder King let you in, though. <sighs> I suppose your curiosity excuses your ignorance. The Wilder King does not control this place. He allows us to take care of the Fading Tree in return for his protection. We don't question our oath. We fulfill it. Zonesome? <laughs> nah, it's nice to get away from everyone else. It's quiet, peaceful. And the Wilder King comes around now and then. Some might think of them as dreams, but I know he's been to see me. A caretaker's life is anything but dull. The Fading Tree chooses. It guides us towards the next caretaker. Not everyone has the courage, intelligence, and fortitude to undertake this position. Everyone from the village knows how hard it can be, and yet nearly everyone wants to do this. I'm not without sight. No point. We swore to protect the Fading Tree for the... The village goes where the Wilder King sent. It shall begin shortly, if I get a moment to prepare for it. We come together once more to choose the next... Ca the Wilder King entrusted the Fading Tree to us. And this is part of our oath. My time as caretaker nears its end, and the Fading Tree will choose my successor. Whoa. It's like we've seen this before. What's happening? The Fading Tree chooses Eranor. Eranor, you will be our next caretaker. Me? The tree picked me. I'm honored. I'll do my best. Come, Eranor. We have much to discuss. Orcs! Orcs are attacking the village! Oh my god. Eranor! Cantadir! We're under attack. The orcs have attacked. We were caught by surprise. But those still inside are fighting back. You need to distract them. Kill their leader and burn their tents. We'll rescue the villagers. The orcs are camped off the cave's southern entrance. The Wilder King must have sent you to save us. He always protects us. Always. There isn't time to indulge in idle fantasies and what-ifs. Please, the help the villagers below. I need a moment to gather what wits I have left. We just watched the ceremony, and now we're getting attacked. Gotcha. Alright, well... Time to actually see how our two hand does. By the way, the weapon is absolutely garbage. I'm just using it to like level up. If I find anything better, I'm definitely gonna use it. It's actually garbage. Well, I'll show you how the setup would generally work in a normal situation. Now, I would charge in, use the sun shield, and the way I have this sun shield set is it does damage determining how much damage I've taken throughout and then it does that much damage and um, Greetings. what is it the cleave is my primary attack reverse slice is the one to just like finish up AOE and this one I really don't know why it's there I kinda just have it to help level it up honestly it's not really I'm gonna replace it for a heal later on but if I find a Good two-handed weapon that's a uh, VR8 or higher. And I'm definitely gonna use that one. So you do that, charge in, slam him for heavies. I guess I'll use that for now. That's pretty much the gist of the new two-handed build I would be doing. The shield protects me, I guess it's like a 900 point shield, and it does extra damage depending on how much I take 
fucking move. So later on, when I do a full switch, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to change this to more stamina because this is a stamina based build. And I guess I'll make an individual video for that. So uh, just to show people what it's like. Enter cursor mode by pressing dot. There's a cursor mode? I didn't know that. I want to try that now. Oh, well, well, good to know. So as of right now, I'm still going to be using the uh, one-handed weapon plus shield for the most part. For real, is it all the way at the top? Where do I go? I hope there's a way up from here. Because I am straight lost right now. I'm starting to think it was actually on the other side, on the inner part. Oh, never mind. We're good. Anchor somewhere. Sweet. Did that upgrade anything? Momentum? Um, I'll unlock it just to have it. I kind of want to try it. When is the next thing upgrade at? 46? Forty-one. Alright, I guess I want to try it real quick. Man, I'm doing 176 now with the momentum on, but man, I just can't wait till I get this. Increases weapon damage by 6%. So, 10 more levels away till I get a huge bonus. And it's okay. Power stab every time. Oh god, get out of there. That does so much damage. I so blocked that. What the fuck? How did I die so quickly? Hold on. Let me figure something out. Okay, so one. I was getting attacked by these people. Clear out this one first. I don't know why that it just kind of happened. I must have just gotten unlucky. Got critical hit. It did a lot.
does so much damage. What the hell? Why am I taking so much damage? I don't understand. You got a shaman there. Okay, so it's... I don't understand. It's because I'm using a... Probably because of this. Let's uh, try this one. Oh, I'm actually stuck. They used a double cast, it just hurts. I need to kill that shaman. I'm gonna die. <laughs> 